November 24, 1872. The Mary Ward steamer set out from Owen Sound to Collingwood. Morrell was high that fateful evening as passengers and crew celebrated what was to be the final voyage of the season. By nightfall, the Mary Ward had veered off course as Captain William Johnson had apparently mistaken the light from the Craigleith boarding house for the Nottawasaga lighthouse. The Mary Ward ran aground on Mulligan's Reef, known today as the Mary Ward Shoal, approximately four kilometers from the Craigleith shoreline. A rescue effort was launched by passenger Frank Moberly as a storm rolled over the bay. By morning, with no rescue in sight, a lifeboat was launched by eight crew members who sadly drowned in their effort to row to shore. Eventually, a crew of Thornberry fishermen bravely saved the remaining passengers and crew. The storm continued to pound the steamer, and by the following morning, the ship was ripped apart, and the Mary Ward began to settle into her shallow grave. The Mary Ward was a 139-foot steamboat built in Montreal in 1865. It was originally called the Simcoe, and then later renamed the North. In 1867, the North burned and sank on the St. Clair River, remaining there for a year until it was raised and rebuilt as the Mary Ward in 1870. By 1872, it was purchased by a group of Owen Sound investors and serviced the Georgian Bay and Lake Huron as a freight and passenger vessel. Thank you.